Good morning, amigos ingleses. Isabel speaking. How can I help? Ah, bueno, es que Philip tiene el día libre y la verdad es que no, no, no quiero molestarle, a no ser que sea algo muy urgente. ¿Cómo? Ah, que tienes un examen mañana. Bueno, mira, dame un momentito, ¿vale? Que lo voy a intentar. I'm really sorry to call you, but uh, we have a student, uh, he's got an exam tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and... ¿Cuál era la palabra? Cómodo. ¿Quieres saber cómo se pronuncia cómodo en inglés? Comfortable. Is that correct? Comfortable. It's, it's comfortable. Okay, is that it? Verdura. Uh, vale, verdura. Vegetable. Okay? Thank you so much again. Sorry to bother you and right. enjoy the rest of the day, okay? I'll see you tomorrow at the office. Bueno, pues un placer haberte ayudado y nada, muchísima suerte mañana ¿eh? en el examen. ¿Cómo? Pero no, 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 es que de verdad no puedo llamar otra vez. ¿Qué es el examen de final de carrera? Eh, espera un segundo, por favor. Conectar con un nativo no tiene que ser tan complicado hoy en día porque tenemos aplicaciones como Cambly. Ya sabéis que Cambly es nuestra app preferida para practicar tu speaking con nativos de todo el mundo y al instante. Y de hecho hoy vamos a llamar a algunos de estos profesores y corregir la pronunciación de algunas palabras que pueden ser problemáticas para los hispanohablantes. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si nos pueden entender y nos pueden ayudar con la pronunciación correcta. Gambly nos ha dado una clase gratis para ti, así que al final del vídeo te contamos cómo conseguirla, ¿ok? And now, let's begin! How's it going? It's pretty good, how are you? Oh, Great. Good, thank you. Me gustaría que pensaras cómo pronunciarías su nombre. Ok, so, what, what's your name? Sorry. Liam, my name's Liam. Not yeah. Liam. No. No, Liam. <laughs> okay, yeah. where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. It's near New York City. It's just north of New York City. I have a strong accent because I'm from uh, near to Manchester. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, we saw you were from the UK. Yeah, yeah. Next to Manchester, what's the name of the place where you live? Oh, it's uh, Stoke on Trent. Ah, ah right. yeah, it sounds. Sounds familiar, Principal. yeah, yeah. Stoke on Trent. <laughs> Are you ready for my words? Mm -hmm. I'll do my best. Heard? Health. Heard. No? Heard. It's something you oh. find in your body. Oh. In your chest. <laughs> you got it. Your heart pumps the blood around your body. <laughs> the heart, as in the heart, is in your chest. Minute. Minute. Mm. Mm, that's an interesting way to say it. Minute, yeah, it, it exists. It? Yeah? Yeah. Ah. It's two different words with the same spelling. Yeah. So, minute, what does it mean? Very small. So ah, tiny, okay. Tiny, tiny, minute. Minute. Ah, minute. As in, the dinner will be ready in a minute. Yeah, minute. Biscuit. Biscuit. I love to eat biscuits. Biscuit. Yes. People in England love biscuits. Mmm, true. And crumpets. Especially with tea. Yes. <laughs> Tool. Tool? Tool. Or tour. Okay, so tour. The correct pronunciation is tour. So I would like to take a tour of the city. 
Iceland. Iceland, like the country? Well, actually, Iceland is an Iceland, so... Oh, island. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Island. The correct pronunciation is island. So, Hawaii is an island. Tricky one. I'm from uh, the UK and I live on an island. Mm. Mm, that's a good one. We get very confused with prepositions. So many people say, I live in an Iceland. <laughs> so I live on an island. Yes. <laughs> you can do this one. Okay. Go for it. Usually my students say, Iron. Iron. Iron? Every Sunday afternoon I do my ironing. Iron. Is it iron? Okay, so the correct pronunciation is iron. The building's foundation is made of iron. Parents. Parents. The correct pronunciation is parents. Okay, parents. All my students say parents. And then I correct them. And then they keep saying they parents, forget. parents, parents. <laughs> I say no, it's parents, parents. Okay? So an example would be my parents retired in Florida. Hmm. In the UK, we retired to Spain. Yes. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, I went to Spain and there were so many British people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope they were behaving. <laughs> they were, they were nice. They were just playing oh. golf. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Lao. No? I'm studying Lao at university. Law. The pronunciation is law. Law. So, robbing from a bank is against the law. <laughs> Perfect. Have you ever broken the law? Not on purpose. <laughs> Maybe I've done something and I didn't know. Actually, when I was three, I stole candy. I don't remember, but I, my mom says I, I stole candy. I wanted candy and she wouldn't buy it, so I came out with a fistful of lollipops. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh dear. Have you ever broken the law, Liam? Be honest. Be honest. Uh, yes, I've broken the law probably a few times. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, a few times. <laughs> maybe speeding or something like this, going over the speed mm. limit, or on purpose. Uh, probably not on purpose, <laughs> but without realizing. I see. Hmm. <laughs> Flute. Food. Flute. Flute. No. Sorry. Flug. Okay. There you go. Third time lucky. <laughs> flood. <laughs> That's so, it. Flood. So when there is non-stop rain, it becomes a flood. Stick. Stick. So for example, when you're a vegetarian, you don't eat steak. 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 So I would like my steak to be rare. Author. So who's the author of this book? Author. Author. So the correct pronunciation is author. George Orwell is my favorite author. J.K. Rowling is my favorite author. You're a Harry Potter fan. Oh, I love Harry <laughs> Potter, yes. So, but I think you pronounce this word a little bit different. Yeah, in Britain, we don't pronounce the R, so it's just author, author. Author. But you guys in the States, I think you pronounce the R at the end, right? Yeah. Uh, mostly, except in Boston, they drop the R's in Boston a lot. So the Boston pronunciation is more similar to the British one. 
Yeah, author. exactly. And how would you pronounce it again? Let's hear your pronunciation. Author. 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 Yeah, I like. I'm gonna move to America. You know what? <laughs> I'm tired of the British pronunciation. It's too hard for us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me that. <laughs> Sorry. Pues eso es todo por hoy. Muchas gracias por ver este video. Pero tú puedes seguir aprendiendo con los profes de Cambly si tú quieres, porque si te apuntas con el enlace en la descripción de este video. Te van a regalar 15 minutos totalmente gratis. So, why not give it a go? Don't be shy. En Cambly tienes un montón de profesores disponibles ahora mismo, si quieres, 24 horas, porque hay profesores en Estados Unidos, también en Reino Unido, en Australia, en Sudáfrica, así que siempre hay alguien disponible para echarte una mano con la pronunciación, con tu speaking, porque si quieres hablar un inglés más fluido, es la única forma de mejorar y también puedes hacerles preguntas sobre gramática, puedes preparar un examen de inglés, puedes practicar una entrevista de trabajo, lo que tú quieras y siempre que quieras. Es fantástico. A mí me encanta Cambly. De hecho, estoy pensando, Philip, que igual te voy a dar unas vacaciones y... y ¿Vacaciones? Bueno, sí, puedo hacer vídeos con, con los teachers de Cambly porque son súper majos. I think tener... you need a holiday. Yeah. You're a bit stressed, aren't you? Just keep your phone... Switch no, I'm switch my phone off. Y si eres nuevo por amigos ingleses y si no te quieres perder la clase de la semana que viene, haz clic en subscribe. También puedes dejarnos un like si te hemos ayudado con tu pronunciación. Ah, y si no has visto los otros vídeos que hemos hecho con los profes de Cambly, te dejamos estos vídeos aquí. Y nada, muchas gracias por estar ahí y un besazo desde amigos ingleses. See you next week. Bye bye. Can, can I ask you what what should you do if you are in Connecticut and you encounter a bear? What is the best thing to do in that situation? It depends on the bear. I can't remember specifically which species you're supposed to attack and which species you run away or stand still. But some of them, you you have to be as big as you can be. Like you you spread yourself out and you make noise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try and scare them. Yeah. Yeah. If, if they if they think they can eat you, they'll eat you. But if you like make yourself as big as possible. But what if the bear <laughs> is running towards you? What, what should you do? Well, actually, it will outrun you. It depends what you're close to. I I wouldn't run though for most bears. I've heard I, I've heard some people say the best thing to do is to play dead. Yes, that's another good strategy. Is just stop moving. <laughs> do you think that would work though? Depends on the bear. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on how hungry the bear is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would just run as fast as I could. <laughs> I'd probably climb a tree, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, climbing, climbing, going to high places. Yeah. That could help you. I ironed this before I came online, yes. And your trousers? Have you ironed your trousers? Actually, these are jeans, so I ah. didn't iron these. Oh, okay. This is not iron. <laughs> You're wearing trousers though, right? I am wearing trousers, yes. Okay. Luckily for you. <laughs> uh, I've got a few more. 100 more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We've got how many? Four. Four left. Four yeah. left. Okay. Okay. So.